Hi, it's Julie Meller, Easy Swing Coach. Today's video is dedicated to my dad who's recently passed away. Uh, he was a very keen golfer, uh, five handicapper, played in, uh, in Derbyshire in the Peak District in the, in the UK and uh, he's certainly responsible for getting me into playing the game of golf. So this is dedicated to, to my dad Malcolm. Um, the subject title of today's video is a butterfly grip which I think is quite poignant because I know if, uh, if ever I see a butterfly uh, kind of floating around I, I think I'm going to uh, pay tribute to my dad. So uh, here goes. So a butterfly grip is a, a unique grip. It's fabulous for shots, short shots, Rel you know you can you can elevate some shots with these ones so like a lob shot and really good out of a bunker as well and let me just explain what a butterfly grip is in case you've never heard of it um, very simply it's a very strong top hand and a very weak bottom hand and it kind of looks a little bit like a, a butterfly so I'm going to grip it really, really strong with my left hand. So I can, at this point now, I can see all the knuckles on my left hand. And I'm going to put my right hand all the way over. And I can see quite a lot of knuckles now on my right hand. If I get in a little bit closer, you'll see one's very much around this way and the other one is very much over the other way. Now, the, the idea of this is it's, it's, very difficult when your right hand's quite a long way over or should I say your top hand is a long way over you'd have to do a lot of forearm rotation to get the club to swing very flat which we know is not a good place uh, to swing the club on a short shot so this tends to keep the club very much on, a, on what we would call a neutral plane from here but through impact what I love about this is it actually keeps loft on the golf club throughout the follow through so I don't know if you can see how how flat that club is looking and you tend to get quite a lot of spin with this shot and I know um, in fact I've, I've recently been over to America and I'm just playing some golf with some friends over there and um, one of the the gentlemen Stuart who I'm sure will be watching this video and Dick if you're watching as well this is this also relates to some shots that we did over there is um, it really helps for people who, who do struggle getting the right strike on some of these shots. And generally that's because the club gets a little bit too around, too flat in the backswing. It doesn't really work on a, on a more neutral path. So I'm just gonna play a shot now. I'll, I'll kind of go towards the flag, but I'm not, I'm not trying to hit it as close. So I'm just gonna take my, my grip. So I've taken my butterfly grip keeping the golf ball pretty much in the center of your stance and the stance not too wide apart uh, because we don't need a lot of body involved with this one so i'm just going to play a little shot so i'm going to let my club go upwards remember gravity helps so what goes up must come down easier to hit underneath it let's just play a couple of these it's quite a quite a strange feeling if you've you've never done this before and it's certainly a grip that that requires a bit of practice um, but if you are struggling with these shots it's well worth having a go with this grip there you go so I'm just going to work the club up and underneath so starting to get quite a bit of stop on that golf ball when it's landing let's do that again and as I've said, brilliant out of bunkers as well. Um, it kind of really uses the bounce better when, when you're striking the sand and, and it does keep extra loft on the golf club. So you tend to get the ball almost running up the club face. It's that kind of feeling. And uh, remember, make sure your grooves are nice and clean because they're very useful things if you're trying to spin the golf ball. So lots of height in the backswing so I've got my strong left weak right you working the club upwards back under the golf ball and it's almost like your right hand is working the club under this way it's not flipping that would be incorrect because there you're going to get a uh, you're either going to hit the ground or you're going to top the ball and it'll go miles over but it is working the club very much under the golf ball just creates that little bit extra spin that um, 
that you may not have had before. The strike on that was absolutely lovely. I, I probably use this grip three, four times every five or six rounds of golf. So it's not a grip that I use all the time. And you can use it on shots, say, 50 yards inwards. Um, so relatively close shots, probably using lob wedges, sand wedges, pitching wedges to, to a point. Um, but again, it's versatile in the fact that you could do the same thing with a little shot. And so I'm just literally trying to get this onto the green. Just taking that new butterfly grip. And you can even play it on, on little shots like this. It, it definitely gives you a different feel uh, when you're striking the golf ball. And it does tend to take the club on, on quite a good path. It's much more difficult to roll the club around the body when your bottom hand is more over. When you tuck your hand under, very, very easy to, to get the club on the inside. The issue with that, if we get the club too much from the inside, we're either going to hit the ground before the ball, hit up on the ball, send the ball out to the right, or quickly flip the hand over and then you'll get the ball going. It's kind of, will almost have top spin when it lands and it just rolls out of control. So. This is really, this grip is really helping keep the club on a, on a better path. So strong left, weak right, up, and up she pops. So um, it's, it's a grip that's well worth trying. And uh, as always, if you've got any questions um, that, you'd, that you'd like to ask, or, or you're not sure of, of the, 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 the kind of details involved with this one, please just drop me a line. Uh, you can look on my website, it's juliemellagolfschool.com. And, and just as a quick reminder, I've got some one and two day courses coming up this year. If, if you are interested in the way that we coach, you'd be more than welcome to come and join us. I've also got a couple of refresher courses this year for people who've already been on it. And um, I'm, I'm doing an awful lot now of FaceTime and Skype coaching and, uh, and online coaching for those people who are interested in what we do, but don't necessarily uh, or not really able to travel this far. Um, so again, you'd be more than welcome to, uh, to come and join me on a course or just get in touch if, uh, if you've got any messages. Um, if you like what we're doing, please subscribe to the channel and, and share it with your friends if, uh, if you think they'll benefit from it. Thanks for watching guys, take care, bye. Mm -hmm.